Lazy eye, also known as amblyopia, is a condition that affects vision. It is caused by the brain favoring one eye over the other during development. Symptoms of lazy eye include reduced vision in one eye, poor depth perception, and squinting. Diagnosing lazy eye involves comprehensive eye exams and visual acuity tests. Early detection and treatment are crucial for better outcomes. Treatment options for lazy eye include wearing an eye patch, using eye drops, and vision therapy. Regular follow-ups with an eye care professional are necessary to monitor progress. Lazy eye can be successfully treated if detected and addressed early. With proper treatment, many individuals with lazy eye can achieve improved vision. If you suspect lazy eye, consult an eye care professional for evaluation and guidance. Lazy eye, or amblyopia, is a condition where there is reduced vision in one eye compared to the other, which is not due to any structural abnormalities. This typically occurs during childhood when the visual system is still developing. Here's an overview of the causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment of lazy eye. Causes Strabismus, crossed eyes when the eyes are misaligned, the brain may ignore signals from one eye, leading to amblyopia. Refractive errors, significant differences in the prescription between the eyes, such as one eye being more nearsighted, farsighted, or having more astigmatism. Cataracts, clouding of the eye's lens can obstruct vision development. Ptosis, drooping eyelid A drooping eyelid may block vision in one eye. Symptoms Blurred or diminished vision, the affected eye may not see as clearly as the other. Poor depth perception, difficulty judging distances. Squinting or closing one eye, a child might squint or close one eye to see better. Head tilt, tilting the head to one side to improve vision. Diagnosis. Eye examination. An eye doctor will assess visual acuity in each eye. Examination of eye alignment and movement. Refraction test to check for refractive errors. Pupil response test. Checking how the pupils respond to light can help diagnose certain causes. Cover test. Observing how the eyes work together when one is covered can identify strabismus. Treatment. Corrective lenses. Glasses may be prescribed to correct refractive errors. Eye patches. Covering the stronger eye with a patch to encourage the weaker eye to work. Atropine eye drops. Dilating the pupil in the stronger eye to blur its vision, forcing the weaker eye to work. Vision therapy. Exercises to improve eye coordination and strengthen the eye muscles. Treatment of underlying conditions. Addressing conditions like strabismus or cataracts if present. Early intervention. Treatment is more effective when started at a younger age when the visual system is still developing. Prognosis. Early intervention is crucial. Treatment is often more effective if started in early childhood. Continued monitoring. Regular eye checkups to monitor progress. Long-term outcome, with timely and appropriate treatment, many individuals with amblyopia can achieve improved vision. It's important for parents to be vigilant about their child's eye health and seek professional advice if any signs of lazy eye are observed. Regular eye exams in childhood can help in early detection and intervention. The phrase rehabilitation of vision can have different meanings depending on the context. Here are a few possible interpretations. Physical rehabilitation of vision. This could refer to rehabilitation efforts for individuals who have experienced vision loss or impairment due to injury, disease, or other medical conditions. Vision rehabilitation programs aim to improve the functional abilities of individuals with visual impairments. These programs may include training in the use of assistive devices, orientation and mobility training, and activities to enhance daily living skills. Technological Rehabilitation of Vision Advances in technology have led to various innovations aimed at improving or restoring vision. This could involve the development of visual prosthetics or devices such as retinal implants and smart glasses that enhance vision for individuals with visual impairments. Neurological Rehabilitation of Vision Some rehabilitation approaches focus on the neurological aspect of vision. For example, after a brain injury or stroke, individuals may experience visual deficits. Rehabilitation may involve exercises and therapies to retrain the brain's visual processing areas and improve overall visual function. Vision Therapy 
Vision therapy is a type of rehabilitation that involves a series of eye exercises and activities designed to improve visual skills, such as eye coordination, focusing abilities, and visual processing. It is often used for conditions like amblyopia, lazy eye, strabismus, eye turn, and other vision-related issues. Cognitive Rehabilitation for Vision in cases where visual impairment is associated with cognitive deficits, rehabilitation may include cognitive training to improve memory, attention, and other cognitive functions that are essential for effective visual processing. Holistic Wellness Approach Rehabilitation of vision can also include a holistic approach that considers the overall health and well-being of an individual. This might involve lifestyle changes, nutritional interventions, and other factors that can contribute to maintaining or improving vision. If you have a specific aspect or context in mind, please provide more details so I can offer more targeted information. Here are some general eye exercises that may be recommended. Patching. Cover the stronger eye with a patch for a certain period each day. This encourages the weaker eye to work harder and develop better vision. Focusing exercises. Near far focus, hold a small object close to your face and focus on it. Then, shift your focus to an object in the distance. Repeat this process several times. Pencil push-ups, hold a pencil at arm's length and focus on the tip. Slowly bring the pencil closer to your nose while maintaining focus. Stop when it becomes difficult to keep the pencil single and clear. Repeat. Tracking exercises. Follow the finger. Move your finger in different patterns and encourage the eyes to follow the movement smoothly. Eye tracking games. Use visual tracking games and activities that involve following moving objects or patterns. Visual stimulation. Visual targeting. Use colorful and visually stimulating objects to encourage the eyes to focus and track. Computer-based programs. There are computer programs and apps designed to improve eye coordination and strengthen lazy eyes. These may include games and exercises specifically designed for vision therapy. Vision therapy. Consult an optometrist or ophthalmologist who specializes in vision therapy. They may recommend a customized program of exercises and activities to improve eye coordination and strengthen the lazy eye. Remember, consistency is key, and these exercises should be done regularly as prescribed by your eye care professional. It's essential to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any eye exercise program to ensure that it is suitable for your specific condition. Additionally, lazy eye treatment often involves a combination of exercises and may also include the use of corrective lenses or other interventions as determined by your eye care provider.